So this time you tried to attack the information and not attack me as a person. So I appreciate that and I applaud you for stepping up to the plate in that form and fashion. Now in this comment that you put up here, and he made many, you made many comments, and I'll address most of them. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you're saying that God put these people, God did put these people in place, but then they went outside of God's will and to the point where God of what God allowed them to do. And you're saying that when it comes to your temple, your following man is not an option. That's good. That's right. You shouldn't. And you also saying that you're like Peter. The secondary comment to that is that Peter was not cool with Rome, that he wasn't going to follow Rome, who was the governing body of Judea at the time, based on if these people are actually in existence. I understand what you're saying. You're absolutely right. But here's the thing. Peter easily could have said that, although Yeshua did say that give unto Caesar what is Caesar and give unto God what is God. So you can extrapolate that into your argument as well. But I can also extrapolate that into my argument, which a lot of the scriptures that you posted actually demonstrate that same vagueness that can go one way or the other. Because you're talking about the evilness of men, that all men lie. And all men also means your pastors and your deacons and your mothers and your deaconesses and all them too. But you talk about how all men lie, all men do evil, that people will supplant themselves and all this sort of thing. You, that is not an argument against follow your government that's been in place. It's not an argument against that because then you couldn't follow anybody, even yourself. You couldn't follow your neighbor. You couldn't follow anyone. And that's a justification for not following them. If they do not line up with what you believe, what you believe, and that's the crooks of it. You can make it be what you want it to be, just like the Nazis made Christianity to be what they wanted to be to do the Holocaust. Like Americans did, the colonizers did in order to do manifest destiny and kill the indigenous people like they did to go into Africa and have the transatlantic slave trade like they did for 400 years and have slavery in America like they did for taking people's land over and over again. You can use it and justify it one way or another. And then the last thing that I want to cover that you said is that you quoted a part of the Bible where you said because you live a Christian life that you will be persecuted. Okay, in the time that that was written, that would have been true, which shows that your Bible is actually a culturally based book and not a book for all times. Because, sir, there are churches on every street corner and I do not see Christians being persecuted at all. You will point to something like China. That's one country. But Christians aren't being persecuted around the world and you won't be.